Hey guys, this is Nelly. So I was, so I've been sitting here in the office going through some of the footage that we have because I've surprisingly have taken a lot of footage while I've been here in Australia. And another perk that I've actually gotten a chance to take advantage of while I've been living here is just going on awesome vacations, like really, really cool vacations. Just really places that I never thought I'd ever visit and it's, it's beautiful down here. So if you haven't had a chance to visit Australia, I recommend it. It's breathtaking. So recently I took a trip to a place called the Bunya Mountains here in Australia. The family and I packed up all our things and we spent a week there. So the Bunya Mountains are mountainous as it sounds. Um, it's a really beautiful location and you can just, it feels like you are sitting on top of the world. We went during Australia's winter. Now I say winter because it's not really that cold, although you still need a jacket. So it's kind of jacket weather. I just wanted to really quickly tell you a little story about getting there. We didn't get to go on the road early in the morning. So we probably left from here at around lunchtime, which was a huge mistake. How would I have known better? I'm a city girl. I don't know anything about wildlife or the country. We got on the road. I started noticing a interesting and a bit disturbing pattern. Every few miles or kilometers as they call it here, I would just see, ah, oh, there's a kangaroo. It's beautiful, it's great. Then sadness, there's a dead kangaroo. It's really sad. Then another, then another, then another live kangaroo, dead kangaroo. Really heartbreaking seeing, seeing a dead kangaroo on the side of the road. Kangaroos are out and about on the roads during the afternoon and it was gonna take us a while to drive there. So I was on high alert. Just, we had to really drive very carefully to make sure we didn't hit anything. If you are driving on the road and something comes in front of you, do not brake. The worst thing you could do is brake. It's pretty crazy, but you actually have to drive. Just keep driving. Braking can actually cause you to have an accident. So there I'm thinking, I don't want to hit anything because that is terrible. So the whole time when we were um, driving up the mountain, I was just keeping an eye out for wallabies, kangaroos. There was a cow that kind of came out of nowhere. Um, uh, I don't know if they're called rabbits or hares, but there was this massive bunny that came, or rabbit or hare, that came really close in front of us. And just, I just remember seeing this huge eye from this animal and I screamed really loudly. I was so scared in the car. I just made a huge scream. I'm surprised that the baby didn't wake up in the back. Luckily we didn't hit him. Um, we got to stay in this amazingly beautiful cabin. We actually got a chance to film some footage while we were up at the Bunya Mountains. Um, so we got some really, really cool GoPro footage that I, I am now gonna share with you guys. So I hope you enjoy. I'm not gonna make direct eye contact. <laughs> cool. Alright, you guys. I'm a tree. Hello. Hello. You like when I slide at the market. <laughs> 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 With the parrot, yeah, they've got the parrot on your side. And the parrot, you've made a friend's name. And the, like the ones that want attention, you know, because they want people to come up and talk to them. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! This is it, eh? Yep. Awesome. 
Yeah. Glad. Happy about that. Oh, <laughs> no, you're not happy about it. Who's that old swagman down there, huh? Stay there, John. Crocodile Don't move. Dundee. Crocodile Dundee himself. Yeah, he's pointing. Yeah, pointing. Isn't he? <laughs> Great view, eh? Well, could be way over there. You can have a of so when was Burton's well founded, John? Oh, I didn't see it. So wait a minute, what was Burton? Oh no, that was the grave.